Oh, yes indeed. Alright. I feel like I'm most of the gist of it then. Okay. Well, hi folks. Barry Stintz here. And welcome to my very first episode of my new show. It's called Squeaky Chair. Yeah. No, with all seriousness, folks. Welcome to the very first episode of Paranormal Situation. Let's face it, there's a lot of things that happen in life that are unexplained. To most of us, you know, I mean, you hear uh, glass break in the middle of the night, cupboards, you know, bouncing or, or banging, doors opening, you know, hinges going, and then they had WD-40, you know, hear that, and you know, obviously, that's not a human being or something that's explained well. No, no. It's actually a paranormal situation. And I'm here to get to the bottom of those situations. Yeah. Trying to figure out what's going on, what is making this happen, what can we do to stop it. So, thanks for joining. Today we're here at the Frumble Farm. Yeah. This is the house and very lovely chair of, of Jasper Frumble. He's, he's been very nice in hospitableness to allow me into his home and kind of go over and interview him a little bit about what's been going on. Jasper, thank you again for having me and please tell us a little bit about your situation because, uh, well, we're all dying to know. <laughs> well, Larry, I really appreciate you giving me the opportunity to come on TV with you and explain the story. Woo! I always enjoy being on TV. Woo! And that's what happens, you know. Anyway, it all started about six months ago. I got my daughter a toy. My daughter's name is Annabelle. I got her a nice little doll. Never thought much of it, but someone did. <coughs> Anywho, the nature of it was, Adele didn't like me. And I knew kind of from the get-go. There was something off about it. That little fucker was alive. Changing my, you know, burning my clothes and hiding all my belongings around the house. Pretty terrifying. And I try to tell my wife, Jezebel, and of course my daughter Annabelle had nothing to do with me at all. Not one thing. They never believed me. In fact, after a while she was like, alright, you're crazy as a fucking eight ox. You know, Aox. And she took my daughter and left. Anyway, Barry here. Have a beer on me. Enjoy. Oh, no. Oh. Thank you so much, sir. Cheers. <laughs> I take it this is Jenny. Oh, you goddamn right, Barry. That's a Jenny. A good old Jenny. I like Jenny. Anyway, back to this whole Annabelle doll thing here. Or, I'm, I'm, excuse, uh, I'm sorry, your Annabelle's not your doll. <laughs> That's the daughter. Uh, your daughter. So, Annabelle's doll was possessed? Was evil? Was playing weird tricks around the house? to ridicule you, to make you look like to be the bad guy, to make you out to be the piece of shit of the year, not a family guy whatsoever, that kind of thing, huh? Well, it seemed to have worked, whatever happened, because his wife and daughter left him. Well, the daughter didn't, she's too young, but the wife took the daughter and left him. And that's why we're at the Frumble Farm here. We're trying to clear his good name. Jasper Frumble's good name. Not the best name ever, but, you know, it's kind of wacky. Anyways, is there any other situations you can tell me on before we decide to take on this mission, mission, mission? You know, again, this is just a preliminary interview to see if it's worth, you know, any kind of ratings or whatever, or, uh, you know, fail cause. So is there anything else you can share with us to tell me what happened? Please do. And the most terrifying experience, Barry, I ever had, and this will make you shit white, was the one day down in the basement. And Dal knew I was home alone and knew what had to fuck with me. So, I was down there doing laundry, like any other day. Yeah, time to do the laundry. Like any other day. Mm-hmm. I can't wash and dry. I wash on first. You know the goes. <laughs>
after that, I didn't know what to do. I'm lucky I didn't die. Oh my God, Jenny will do. Well, I gotta say something, Jasper. That is uh, horrifying in many ways. You know, whoever thought doing the laundry would be such a chore and almost dying, you know, from a killer towel. Anyway, uh, you sold the story. Thank you so much. You have a story. And uh, I'm gonna be bringing in my partner on this, of course. As you all know from Cook Stuff, Mr. Didi will be joining me here. And uh, we're gonna get to the bottom of this paranormal situation. Absolutely. So join us next week. Jasper, thank you so much. I'll take over from here.